The basic requirement for going beyond the skies is a rocket. Generally, a rocket is a long thin metallic cylinder with a pointed nose that shoots up from the ground, leaving a gigantic cloud of smoke in its wake. A rocket by definition is a spacecraft, missile, aircraft or other vehicle that obtains thrust from a rocket engine. The outside frame of a rocket is almost similar to that of an aeroplane. It is made up of various light but very strong materials like aluminium and titanium. The skin of a rocket is covered by thermal protection system to overcome the air friction during its flight. Rocket has mainly three parts, payload system, guidance system and propulsion system. Payload system it is the carrying capacity of an aircraft or launch vehicles usually measured in terms of weight. Depending on the nature of flight or mission, the payload of a vehicle may include cargo, passengers, flight crew, scientific instruments or experiments or other equipments. Extra fuel when optionally carried is also considered part of payload. In a commercial context, payload may refer only to revenue generated or paying passengers. The fraction of payload to the total lift off weight of the aircraft or spacecraft is known as the payload fraction. When the weight of the payload and fuel are considered together, it is known as the useful load fraction. Guidance System A guidance system is a virtual or physical device or a group of devices implementing a controlling the movement of a rocket. Guidance is the process of calculating the changes in position, velocity, altitude and reaction rates of a moving object if required to follow a certain trajectory and altitude profile based on information about the object's state of motion. A guidance system is usually part of a guidance navigation and control system, whereas navigation refers to the system necessary to calculate the current position and orientation based on sensor data like those from compass, GPS receivers, Loran C, star trackers, internal instrument units, altimeters, and etc. The output of the navigation system, the navigation solution, is an input for the guidance system and among others like the environmental conditions and the vehicle's characteristics. In general, the guidance system computes the instruments for the control systems which comprise the object's actuators such as thrusters, reaction wheels, body flaps, and etc which are able to manipulate the flight path and orientation of the object without direct or continuous human control. Propulsion System A propulsion system is a machine that produces thrust to push an object forward. On rockets, thrust is usually generated through some applications of Newton's third law of action and reaction. A gas or working fluid is accelerated by the engine, and the reaction to this acceleration produces a force on the rocket engine. A rocket engine works by burning either a liquid or solid fuel in presence of an oxidizer. When the combustion reaction occurs, it throws out a great deal of mass as a byproduct of the reaction. These byproducts are released at great speed through the bell shaped nozzles that you see. Since the rocket pushes the exhaust down, the exhaust responds by pushing the rocket up at great speed as well, which lifts the rocket off the launch pad and propels it upwards into space. After reaching to a certain altitude, the rocket undergoes gravity turn. A gravity turn or zero lift-off turn is a maneuver used in launching a spacecraft into or descending from an orbit or celestial body such as a planet or a moon. It is a trajectory optimization that uses gravity to steer the vehicle onto its desired trajectory. It offers two main advantages over a trajectory controlled solely through the vehicle's own thrust. First, the thrust is not used to change the spacecraft's direction, so more of it is used to accelerate the vehicle into orbit. Second and more importantly, during the initial ascent phase, the vehicle can maintain low or even zero angle of attack. This minimizes transverse aerodynamic stress on the launch vehicle. 